and all yours in Jesus' name. That suggestion is not in the charge, sir. Don't worry. The launching committee under the leadership of Professor Shonibu have done it again. This committee continues to encourage us with their dynamic, dynamism and innovativeness. As you lift up the work of God in our midst, God shall continually uplift you also in Jesus' mighty name. We well, remember the Secretariat under Venerable Wonola and Mr. Samoa. They have been a great blessing to us for so many years. We thank them for doing such meticulous job after year. God bless and reward you richly. Not forgetting the Dalsam Press, we appreciate the work that you are doing. For yet another year, the medical team has taken very good care of your diocesan and his family. Dr. Ogushende, Dr. Lagwaju, Pharmacist Bangola. We also appreciate Mrs. Wonola and the mobile clinic team. They continue to support our outreach teams in the rural areas. To all you good people, synod delegates, bishop nominees, we thank God for you and thank you for answering the call to service. The Lord reward all of you manifold in Jesus' name. The Dalsam Missionary Society men, the Dalsam Missionary Society women's wing, the boys' brigade, girls' brigade, girls' guild, sisters' guild, boys' guild, Sunday school department, guild of stewards, association of church musicians, and other organs of the diocese not yet mentioned. We appreciate you all. Permit us to appreciate our provosts and adjacents in a special way. They have made great sacrifice to uplift the work of God in our diocese. Their commitment to the work of the gospel, to say the least, is quite commendable. They continue to show good example and to inspire our people to greater heights in Christ. We thank you all, members of the House of Clergy, clergy-wise, we appreciate all of you very, very profusely for your very great support to the work of the bishop and his wife in Ibado Anglican Diocese. You have invested great effort in your spiritual growth, in your technical competence, and in the development of your pastoral capacities. And we have seen it all rubbing off on the diocese in form of improved indices despite the state of the nation. Dignity's wife, we say a big thank you to you. Faithful Rueda, we'll never forget your labor of love. People of God, we cannot fail to appreciate your tokens of love at Christmas, at Easter, during harvest thanksgiving services, and at other festive occasions. Even on normal days, you remember us and send gifts to us. We acknowledge with thanks your gifts, your kind visits at needful times, your text messages, your calls to encourage us, and your other acts of kindness and love shown to us, our children and grandchildren. We are indeed very grateful. You have encouraged us, and we pray for you and all yours. Discouragement and despair shall never be your lot in Jesus' name. The good Lord shall send people who shall encourage you, encourage you in your faith, and make you and your children happy at every point of need in Jesus' name. On your behalf, let me express very, very great and profound gratitude and heartfelt appre appreciation to comfort who continues to comfort me. These loving and caring friend, wife, sister, co-worker, confident, confident to the entire family of Christ in this land, prayer partner, encourager, playmate, mother, grandmother, you can add your own. Our dear, amiable, and hospitable comfort has been wonderful for yet another year. Her unflinching support, wise counsel, 
honest character, unending hospitality, calm and comforting words, and ever positive attitude have gone a long way to benefit your diocesan in the course of his duties in the outgoing year. May God, who is the faithful rewarder, reward this comfort bountifully. Today, as always, we appreciate you, ma. Thank you, ma. Thank you for who you are and for all you do. And now to the King Immortal, Invisible, and Wise God, they ascribe dominion and majesty be unto him, both now and in all eternity. Thank you for your patience, sir. Thank you for your Amen. Thank you, sir. Another round of applause to our Baba, the President of Synod, the Most Reverend Dr. J. O. Akinfenwa. He has been standing for about two hours. Let's thank God because God has strengthened him. Thank you. Praise the Lord. While the President of Synod was presenting his charge, we have more fathers in God present personally here and on his behalf and on behalf of Mama Ibad, I'd like to recognize and welcome the Right Reverend Akintun De Pupola, Bishop of Ibadan South Dowsis. You are welcome, sir. God bless you. We thank you for coming. And also the Lord Bishop of Quara Dowsis, the Right Reverend Ajewale, you are welcome in Jesus' name. Thank you very much for coming. So before we proceed to the launching, we have good messages also from the Diocese of Elisha and uh, the bishops represented by Venerable P. A. Omaleye. You are welcome. Also we have message Goodwill message also from one of our retired bishops, the Right Reverend Professor M.A.A. Oshunade, who wishing Synod successful deliberations and also his donation towards the Bishop's Church. There are other guests as they arrive. We will also let you know as we go on with the lunch. Your Grace, once again, we congratulate you because you have been well comforted. So we know that, uh, we know where you now derive your strength. It is, every year you give us new uh, descriptions of our mama. This year we have taken one, she's your playmate. All right. Kilode. Shebi Baba Sobe. Thank you. Thank you. Permit me to invite to the head table uh, the chief launcher for this day, Prince Benga Lufadeju. Please come. And also, uh, the special guest of honor for this synod, Chief Harry Akonde, uh, is ably represented by his wife, Mrs. Akonde. Bayo. Sorry, oh, Bayo. Mr. 
Mrs. Akonde, thank you for coming. Before we proceed to the launching of the bishop's charge, the Before we continue with proceedings, permit me to invite the Chancellor of our diocese to appreciate Baba for the charge well written, well delivered, Lord Chancellor. Praise God. Your Grace, Mama Abaddon, House of Clergy, House of Lady, our honored guests on the high table, my lords, I deeply appreciate all of you for coming. Most of my, my lords sitting here are my, my lords, my lords. <laughs> we are all very happy to be here. And I wish everybody, I don't know how to translate that, that will get that same nuance in English. So, in Yoruba, rather, uh, I think it sounds much nicer in Yoruba. Hmm. We thank God for today. As usual, those of us who are, who are, who are used to Baba Archbishop, Baba Badon, we are used to this very academic and insightful charges. I make a point of having at least two or three of these charges in my library. Because you learn a lot, not only about the history of Ibadan, the various locations in Ibadan, where churches are cited. But you learn a lot about the church. And you learn a lot about what it is to be a leader. In today's charge, the, the one read for this synod, we see that his grace not only talked about what it is to be an Anglican, and to be a, 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 an inheritor of the Anglican customs and tradition. But the most important aspect of it for me is the emphasis on ensuring that this tradition endures. It is not only that uh, we should not live in the past. Oh, Anglicans used to be like this. Anglicanism used to be like this. More importantly, how do we ensure that these traditions are passed on to the next generation and the next generation? Because it was, because it was passed down to us that we are enjoying the tradition and we are inheritors of that tradition. Baba has made some very insightful and useful suggestions on how we can do this in our various parishes, in our various families. And I hope that when we read the charge, we will take them, we will take the suggestions to heart and actually do, take practical steps to imbibe all these suggestions and to practicalize them. Baba, we are very grateful. Uh, you know, we write judgments, and we know how long it takes before we can write a sensible judgment of 30 pages, 35 pages, then 40, then 50, then 60. As I was looking at the charge, typewriting, you know we are getting the printed version. The typewriting full scab version will run into 70 
or 80 pages. And I was telling the representative of the um, Undo State Governor that Baba has tried today to lessen the time of delivery by cutting off some portions. That is usually the case. We have enjoyed and we have understood and we have assimilated the charge. And we are very grateful, Baba, for your effort. We really, really appreciate. And I'm speaking for myself. I'm speaking for the House of uh, Clergy and the House of Bishop. I know I'm not qualified to speak for the House of uh, Clergy, but today I'm holding the mic and I'm investing myself with the power <laughs> to speak for both sides. So, uh, uh, I'm being asked here whether that is a palace school. Far from it. Far from it. It's not a palace school. I have seen the minds of my babas sitting at the back here, and they all agree with me also. And I'm sure they are going to express their own opinion too on the charge. Thank you, Baba, for a well thought out, well researched, well uh, put together charge. And we hope that all of us will take to heart. No prayer fully expresses our faith. No confession brings perfection. No pastoral visit brings wholeness. No program accomplishes the church's mission. No set of goals and objectives includes everything. This is what we are about. We plant the seeds that one day will grow. We water the seeds already planted, knowing that they hold future promise. We lay foundations that we need further development. We provide yeast that produces far beyond our capabilities. We cannot do everything, and there is a sense of liberation in realizing that these enable us to do something and to do it well. It may be incomplete, but it's a beginning, a step along the way, an opportunity for the Lord's grace to enter and do the rest. May we never see the end result, but that is the difference between the master builder and the worker. We are workers, not master builders, ministers, not messiahs. We are prophets of a future, not our own. That is what it is to bequeath to the generation to come, a faith and a church that shall be proud to embrace or proclaim. People of God, the Anglican heritage is a good heritage. It is an enviable heritage. Let us resolve to make it a truly enduring heritage, just like it has been emphasized in the words of the hymn, Faith of Our Fathers, Living Faith. Faith of Our Fathers, Chained in Prison Dark. Faith of Our Fathers, a faith that endures forever. Our joys. During the year under review, we had cause to rejoice with our brethren who celebrated God's special favor upon their lives and families. Those who gave out their daughter's hands in marriage, and some who got a wife for their sons, and housewarming, testimony, healing, surviving accidents, attacks, promotion at work, wedding anniversaries, and the following who celebrated their birthdays. Amongst them, let me pick out Chief Mrs. Ajayobe, who celebrated 90 years, and Chief O.O. Akikube, who also celebrate 90 years. We rejoice with them all and pray God's richest blessing upon their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Likewise, there were departures. At this synod, we remember members of our diocese who have gone to be with the Lord after their sojourn here on earth. Our gratitude to God for their lives and service to God and humanity. Our prayers are with them members of their families left behind. The good Lord will grant them fortitude to bear the irreparable loss. I urge us to please stand for a moment as we pay them our respect. Please stand.
Light perpetual shine upon them. May their gentle souls rest in perfect peace. Please be seated. During the year under review, we hosted a Bado Provincial Council meeting. We have placed here our appreciation to the chair of the LOC, Provost Olagbaju, and all adjutants and their wives. And our missionary initiative as a diocese, we have recorded here all that we have been able to achieve, and including those who made very important donations. On your behalf, we thank those who made donations of church buildings and vicarage to the diocese within the year under review. We appreciate Bashon Ruben Famuibo for his kind construction and donation of a church building and vicarage for Anglican Church, our Savior's Anglican Church, Songo. The church needed to relocate out of the original ball within the precinct of the Songo police station. And given the urgency of the matter, it was a perplexing situation for the congregation. However, Bashan Ufamuibo made himself available to be used of God to meet the need. May the good Lord bless and reward the donor in Jesus' name. May you receive divine blessings that your heart desire in overflowing measure. We also express gratitude on behalf of Synod to the children of late chief and Mrs. Oredain for the kind donation of a church building for Janet Aduke Oredain Memorial Anglican Church, Bekuba. The church building was donated in memory of their mother by one of the children. Even though some of them are physically far away, we are happy to note that the children remember their mother's church when they decided to establish something in memory of their late mother. Donations like this, and like yours, go a long way to support the work of evangelism. Our prayer is that the good Lord shall bless, reward, and uplift, uplift the donor and the entire Redden family. As you contribute to the work of soul winning, may total salvation be the lot of your entire family. None of your family members shall miss our heavenly home in Jesus' name. We have some churches that are still under construction. The report will come. Dowsis and youth, we have appreciated all of them for the progress we continue to see in the physical activities they are involved in in the church. These are those who have refused to run away, but are the faithful remnant who wants to make sure that, yes, this church, in future, they will grow to take over the leadership of the church. Empowerment. You will receive the report of our empowerment to our youths and the needy in our midst. But permit me to report that some of our clergymen have been posted to teach Christian religious knowledge in government schools at no cost to the government or school. The diocese bears all the costs as part of our contribution towards ensuring that children in these schools are exposed to the word of God. In line with Synod Directive, two boreholes have been sunk, one at St. Anne's College, opposite us here, and the other at St. Matthew's Anglican Church, Agbono. It will be two for each rural adjacency every year. But if the Lord gives us more, we are able to go the extra mile. For instance, we have been challenged by the new chairman of uh, Ibadan Anglican Hospital to put a borehole in place immediately. We will discuss that after Synod. <laughs> we have appreciated honors and awards committee, the visioning committee. We have appreciated all of us for our wonderful performance in Jesus Festival, including the Dalsan Women Organization for their contribution every year. The Dalsan Women Organization has become the busiest group in our diocese as of today. Activities all year round, spiritual and physical. Cathedral shopping complex. During the year under review, our cathedral shopping complex was gutted by fire. The damage was colossal, but thanks be to God, there was no loss of life to the glory of God. We praise God for the courage of the cathedral provost and standing committee towards rebuilding and repairs of the complex. As we speak, the complex has been re-roofed and finishing touches are ongoing. Praise the Lord. We want to encourage all and sundry because the work is not totally done. Whatever you are able to give in support to them, 
we shall appreciate to the glory of God. I must remind us that uh, in this church, we have Church of Nigeria news, about the Anglican Diocese news, that is Episcopal assignment, and only to take note that in all that was done during the year, we have had to the glory of God 11 foundation laying ceremonies of various projects